Cats and dogs are way ahead of us in the game of chips. For years, a computer chip has been available to help identify Fluffy or Fido if they're lost and found. Now it's our turn. I inserted uh, two microchips uh, under the skin, one in my right forearm and one in my right hip. New Jersey surgeon Richard Seelig is the first person to get chipped. That is, injected with a new identification device called the VeriChip. VeriChip is an advanced, intelligent identification technology capable of holding 128 characters of information that would be inside of the body. Dr. Seelig had been working on the chip for a Palm Beach company by the name of Applied Digital Solutions, but there were no immediate plans for human trials. Then came September 11th. Anyone there? When he heard rescue workers were writing their names on their bodies so they could be readily identified in case something happened to them during the risky work at Ground Zero, Dr. Seelig knew there was a better way. It was time to put Very Chip to the test, and he became the human guinea pig. Could you tell me where it is? You can't tell. Can you take your best guess? Um, right here? No. Right here? No. Okay, I give up. It's up here. The size of a pencil tip, very chip can hold 128 characters of information hidden inside the body. Things like your name, address, emergency contact. There you go. You are 4058130606C. The very chip is dormant until this special scanner energizes it. Then it emits a radio signal containing an ID number. That number is transmitted to a data storage site. The corresponding information can then be retrieved in seconds through a computer. A social security number. Imagine you've had an accident and you're unconscious. You can't tell paramedics you're allergic to a certain medication or that you're a diabetic or that you have a pacemaker. At a time when time is of the essence, Verichip can provide that information instantly. Those moments of knowledge and information could help save that person's life. The very chip could also help identify lost, young, or autistic children, or elderly relatives. It could be a second memory source for Alzheimer's patients, like Nate Isaacson. Well, sometimes I don't know where I'm at. While Nate waits for the very chip to get federal approval, there's the Digital Angel, a sort of human lojack made by the same company. Hidden inside a watch or beeper, it uses biosensors, wireless telecommunications, and a global positioning system to track down your location and monitor your pulse and temperature. It's kind of nice to have something that would bring you back home. In the near future, the company hopes to marry the two devices to come up with an ID chip that can also pinpoint location. There's already a lot of interest in such a product in Latin America, where kidnappings have become an epidemic. Very chip could help prove you are who you say you are. One day, airlines, power plants, even the White House may want to use the chips for employees. Prisons could use a hybrid device to keep track of inmates. But then you begin to raise questions of privacy, of Big Brother watching. Remember Total Recall, the movie in which Arnold Schwarzenegger's every move is tracked by a chip inside his head? Science fiction may be science fact very soon. But right now, very chip is being marketed as a strictly voluntary potential lifesaver. And Nate can't wait to be chipped. I'm ready. And you, I know you're ready. Definitely <laughs> ready. Yeah. I'm looking for the peace of mind. The FDA is expected to approve human trials of the very chip later this year, and it could become available to the public as soon as next year. The expected cost, a couple hundred dollars plus a monthly monitoring fee. Ileana Barella, CBS4 News.